eight pixel art textures. Well, I love pixel art and apparently so do you guys. So we're back once again with more pixel art content on the channel. Um, today we'll be doing eight different textures. I did uh, two different pieces of wood, some like a water, tile, grass, sand, like redstone looking, regular stone and limestone kind of thing. And I was kind of going for a more realistic approach to these. I'm just gonna be talking over this uh, of the over this footage here. Um, so the first one I did was of course the wood, the initial wood. And the only thing I'm trying to keep in mind is I'm not trying to tile these necessarily. So. In essence, what that means, if you don't know, is I'm not trying to make it so that if you were to duplicate this texture out, all of the lines would match, like from the left to the right, and it would it would loop and it would look perfect and seamless. I'm not trying to make it seamless. I was just trying to create the, the pixel art texture. So I wasn't creating actual tiles that are usable in a game, for instance. So just keep that in mind while you watch this. I just want to get down some of the textures and the colors and the shapes that I wanted to create um, with a lot of different shading techniques and color techniques and everything. Um, so the um, my favorite one is most likely the water maybe? No, I really like the stone one as well, the gray stone. Um, that one's really cool. But I want to talk about some techniques while, while, while this is playing. So. Um, the biggest thing that I want to tell you about is the use of different layers to create depth within the pixel art. A lot of the times you'll create, you'll create pixel art and you'll just um, change your color and draw new colors to shade. When in actuality, you can go ahead and grab a darker color or a lighter color and then just add a layer over top of your existing pixel art, drop the opacity down, and then just start drawing. Um, and uh, you can build up the shading, sh the shaded areas or this, this highlight areas or wherever, what have you. And it works really, really well. This is uh, most prevalent, most likely in this video, but especially in the um, wood, the wood uh, tile. You can see we have all those different colors of wood there. And it took me, it took me like five seconds to do all of that because it's just like, you just grab a darker color and then just keep, uh, keep shading. And it's, it's like actually shading regular digital art um, if I'm honest with you so it's it's, it's like if I was drawing a regular painting if I was uh, doing regular digital art painting uh, and not just pixel art so it was very very unique very uh, useful is what the word I'm looking for very useful very fun as well um, something with the something like the water the water has to be a little bit more def a little bit more defined a little less detailed um, a little less more like the um, wood a little a little more refined with the amount of colors that I used because I feel like water is very easy to just turn into like carpet or something um, because if you add too much detail it won't start looking like water because water does have to be a little kind of crystal clear for it to resemble water in my opinion um, so um, that was really fun as well that one probably has the least colors out of all of the ones that I did maybe um, maybe the gray stone is the least amount of colors it could be the grass and the sand are practically the same it's just that um one of them is the lines go from left to right and one of them go the lines go up to down um so that is the only difference between those i really wanted to not make anything defining like leaves or like um the waves in sand like most people do i wanted to just create some really detailed looking grainy kind of sand and um grass textures um, the ones down on the bottom, I started going a little bit more with um, stone or rougher textures. I initially was going to do lava for the first tile on the bottom row, but I decided against it because everyone does lava. So I kind of turned it into like some kind of red stone, cobblestone kind of thing. And I think it looks really, really, really cool. So you can see I have a lot of different colors in this one. This one is really unique actually because... I put gray tones in this red stone, cobblestone kind of concoction. So as you can see, I have these, uh, these nice little gray tones uh, along the along the sides and the cracks of the red uh, cobblestone. And um, it just looks really cool. I really enjoy that one a lot. Um, but the, the thing is, is that, like I said, when you're doing this shading technique that I always, uh, that I always do in my pixel art, it can really easily get over detailed. So try not to make a different color, a different color on every single pixel. So for instance, you want maybe a couple pixels to be the same color next to each other because you don't want every single pixel to be a different color. That's just a little, it's just a little much, you know, you don't really need to go that far with it. It can be kind of difficult to look at because there's so many different colors going on. Um, 
I'd say keep about like maybe five or less colors. I feel like uh, the sand and the, um, the 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 grass one that I created earlier may, might have more than five colors, and I believe the red stone, the red cobblestone, also has more than five colors. But it works because um, there are still colors, there are still pixels that are the same color next to each other. It's, every pixel is in a different color. Um, and then we have like the limestone one, and then like the purple brick. Um, and some of the tips I want to give is don't be afraid to kind of um, think outside the box doing pixel art. Like I said earlier, a lot of times pixel artists uh, will click in every single one of their their pixels, and it'll be very, very refined and very uh, neat and very, I don't know what's the word, um, clean and crisp. And that's great depending on the style you're doing, but if you're trying to make some higher scale and higher resolution um uh, pixel art then definitely just go for it just draw in there like it's like don't be afraid to actually get in there and get messy like it is actually digital art you're creating and painting as if it was a uh, portrait you know of of some character you're drawing um but um, but yeah don't get don't be afraid to get in there and, and and do that and also like i always say make sure instead of just darkening colors when you create them maybe add some blue to it add some red to it add a little bit of green depending on what color it is if if you're ever making uh orange or yellow or color yellower colors always shift the hue over to the red side a bit don't go to the green go to the red side a little bit add a little tiny bit of red in there because it's a big 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 difference that it'll actually add to the project or to the color or to the palette right um, instead of just creating everything with the same hue and just changing the lightness or the luminosity of your um, of your colors it makes it much easier to look at and much nicer so the big takeaways from this video I want you to take is always shift hues always um, play around with uh, things be very creative just be unique don't be afraid to, uh, to to make things a little bit more different or messy in pixel art because I see a lot of pixel artists and all the pixel art starting to look the same it's all pretty clean and all pretty great and don't get me wrong I love that style but I just really want to see more gritty kind of uh, natural or realistic pixel art coming from the community uh, the pixel art community as a whole um, and I love seeing those artists so if you have any games or any projects that you know of that the pixel art is very realistic and very gritty or very detailed um, definitely link me down in the comments, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know, um, any projects that you know of that the pixel art is very realistic or high res or, um, something that you're really interested in looking at right now. Just let me know. I'd love to see it. But anyway, um, that's basically it for this video. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. Um, I will see you in the next video. You see there's two videos here on the screen for you to click. Whichever one you click is fine. Listen, I won't be upset if you click the left one or if you click the right one. I, I know a guy, his name's Shrek. He might be a little disappointed if you don't click one of them. Um, he has, has a friend named Donkey, and he has uh, has a friend named uh, Pinocchio, who his nose grows when he lies. It's really weird. I don't know why he does that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, bye bye.